cities, that is huge. And again, the fact that, like, it's been right here. I mean, obviously the ground's been stirred, but, like, still. Dang, this bunker is sick. In fact, it's been... Oh, I got a slide. But this does look pretty sick. I mean, I wonder if we'll see any enemies down here. And there's the dread loading screen. Okay, so we got a couple of interesting things. Uh, some bounties here. Uh, use catch codes to open Rasputin's chest after successfully completing Sephir Tower public events in the Winding Cove in the EDZ. Complete daily bounties or Rasputin activities to earn more catch codes. So, okay, so you get... Wait, I'm confused. So, complete daily bounties or Rasputin activities to earn more catch codes. And then there's eliminate champions and use catch codes to open Rasputin chests in legendary lost sectors in the EDZ. Complete daily bounds or Rasputin activities to earn more. Okay. So, I guess Rasputin... Act and what is this? Rest the EDZ army. Rasputin can supply powerful tools to arm you. Here you may purchase weapons and pursuit in the EDZ. What? This is crazy. So we got like weapons frame stuff. So we got like okay. So these are all different weapons. So we got like the Severinth. So this looks like an another auto rifle. This looks like uh, a sidearm. Uh, the shotgun, I think, a s machine gun, and then you have, oh, well, this is the auto rifle. And then you, there is so, like, this is what I love about this, and they do just do so much. So I'm just going to grab all of these. Um, help our speed analyze your combat style by either completing public events on EDZ, Dreaming Scene, or Net, or Nessus, or completing Crucible matches in the classic mixed playlist. Uh, defeat Scorn, or defeat Guardians with bows in the Crucible. Uh, defeat powerful Taken or defeat Guardians with fusion rifles in the Crucible. Defeat a Taken boss or defeat a Guardian with a linear fusion rifle in the Crucible. Uh, additional ones. So yeah, I'm gonna just take a bunch of these just because I'm so curious right now. I'm gonna take a bunch of these, as many as I can. And then, uh, like sector stuff, Rasputin power buffs. When the EDZ is a is the active Sephir challenge destination, Sephir chests and the EDZ's legendary lost sectors award powerful gear. Limit one per weekly reset. So this is like the bunker rank. Dude, this is and then bunker upgrades. What the heck is this, dude? Oh yeah, somebody. Act okay, uh, protect the charging uh, support tower from enemy tower interfaces, uh, from enemy interference. Okay. He says. Really? Give them hell, guardians. <laughs> oh, these guys are actually powerful enemies. Okay. Wait, what was that? What's that orb? Support tower overwhelmed. Many enemies on that support tower. Split them out. What does the orbs do? Do we throw it at the? Do we gotta throw it at the charge or what? Do we throw it the big thing there or what? Okay, so we throw them someplace. Get away from me, Shank. Jesus. Go away. Okay, there are... Okay, there are orbs. Pick up polarity charge. 
Uh, where do I throw them? Do I throw them here? Or no, I think they're... Where do I throw it in that? Yeah, I think I do throw them in that. I don't know what we're supposed to be doing. Like, seriously, I have no idea. Pick a polarity charge. Do I throw it in that? I guess we do. Don't let the enemy overtake the support tower. Yeah, we got... Oh, I got a new weapon. Which I guess I will get to in a minute. Where's the... Where's the orb? There it is. Okay, uh... Yeah, there we go. Where's the, where's the thing? Where's the thing? There we go. Now I think I got the hang of it better. Support tower has a serious crowd control problem. Clear it up. Yeah, he keeps saying that. Where's the orb? Where's that orb? There it is. Okay, so it looks like every time that we dunk it in, or every time... Yeah, it looks like every time you dunk one of them in, it moves it further and further yeah, so that's what it does. So we gotta keep basically throwing orbs into it until it gets all the way over. Fuck off the piece of... You know what? Hold on. I gotta switch over to something better than this. Where's my... There you are. This is... Yeah, we're not going to be able to beat this. I mean, we did it. Not quite ready, yeah. That's all we can do for now. 
We'll give it another shot later. Okay, we got like 57% completion, which I guess is nice. And we got more bits. Like, what in the world? What was that? What, what was this? Locked. Good to see you, Guardian. The deep. Anna, are you certain we can't operate this bunker from the tower? Interfacing Rasputin's mainframe with these systems is the only way we'll get the firepower we need. Hopefully the Warmind remembers where to point said firepower. <laughs> you think he'll miss? I'm more concerned with whether it will pull the trigger. He's a Warmind, Zavala. He understands the stakes. Rasputin has been silent for too long while Guardians hold the line. You gotta have a little faith. Faith is self-evident. If it's between you and Rasputin, I'll put my faith in you. Listen, he's on our side. Then I hope it proves me wrong. Guess we'll see what happens. Oh, bunker upgrades. Okay, um... How do I do that? Oh, here we go. You can now summon Valkyries during Rasputin's public event in the EDZ. Okay, that's cool. What's a chip set? Nano chips earned by upgrading the EDZ bunker. Insert them into the bunker interface to optimize power, subroutines, and earn rewards. Jeez. There's just so much stuff with this, I swear. More leg armor, more war mine bits. Uh. Okay, Rasputin needs to reestablish his war set defense system. Acquire chipsets by purchasing Sephra bunker upgrades, then spend those chipsets to increase your Rasputin integration level. Reach level 1 and claim your first Sephra bunker rank bonus. Okay. Oh, okay, so we get the chipsets that way. I guess. We just keep going, I guess. I think it said you get chipsets by doing more of this. We need more warp mine bits for all this. I think that's what it is. So you get more chipsets for... I guess we'll figure it out when we figure it out, I guess, guys. I'm actually just super confused on this as well. Okay, so to get chipsets... I need to purchase more bunker upgrades. I think that's what it's telling me. And to get bunker upgrades, if I'm right. So yeah, because the armory is just the armory. But to get more bunker upgrades, I need more war mine bits. And to get war mine bits, I assume if I if I'm getting this right, but so if I believe if I'm correct. I think I am. And the inventory. Oh, okay. Wow, they actually changed up the inventory thing, too. It makes it look... It doesn't make it look as small. Yeah, uh, achieve warm my bits containing data used to power up... Yeah, it just says to contain. But I think the way you do it is you have to do more uh, Rasputin warm mine activities. I believe that's what it's saying. And apparently, I guess... Yeah, so now there's this as well. Which is uh, kind of cool. So yeah, weekly bounties as well. So there's that stuff. So yeah, so you can keep doing that. Wait, so recommended light power 980. That's why it was so difficult. I was wondering why.